I think they only do fancy music. That's all I've seen. So maybe they do more than fancy music. I don't know. That's all I've uh, really checked out by them. But holy shit, is it amazing. It's like... Their music is like straight out of like... um. You'd think it was in like one of the Elder Scrolls games or something. Like that's how fucking good those that music is. Nightingale Lo-Fi on uh, SoundCloud, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, all that stuff. They are they do good music. It's insane. I did save, right? I did save. Hell yeah. <clears throat> I think her voice is basically just my normal voice. Uh, there you are. How the hell did you leave without me noticing? Seems everything's back to normal down here. I went upstairs. I wanted to. Wait, are you bleeding? Oh my god, you got a huge gash on your face. Fresh face. Fresh. What the hell happened? Oh. I. I tripped in the dark and hit my head. Ouch. Are you okay? You shouldn't climb stairs with the lights off. Have you never watched cartoons? I'm gonna go ahead and clean this wound up. Mm, sure. But, uh, alright. I'll be right back. I think I made the voice more deeper now. I think I, I might have made it more, more, more Batman now than anything else. <laughs> it's just Batman. Oh god, that's how the character looks. Holy shit, just like... They look like they've been through some stuff. They've been through a lot of things. This character does not have a good life. Whoa. Whoa, this is the first time you see this guy's face. Holy shit, this is, uh... Oof! Will... Will I be able to find Lucian? <laughs> Seriously, look at he's been through some fucking shit, holy shit. Football looks, football looks very weird. This is very weird football. I don't know, he looks, doesn't he look like uh, he could have been a... He could have, he's a washed up footballer, doesn't look like that. He could have been a washed up guy. <laughs> Uh, is he, is he alive? He's got to be. Right. I need to find him, no matter what. Is this how I did the voice? I don't remember if that's how I did the voice. To, now I'm just hearing Batman to me, and maybe I just, maybe I did do a Batman voice, I don't know. I open the first aid kit on the wall and look for something to clean up my wound. Shit. Stings like a bitch. Good enough. I'd better get back. I put my jacket back on and head out of the bathroom. Luna looks lost in her thought. Ahem. So, now we can unlock these doors, right? Yeah, I guess. What's in there anyway? I bet it's all boring crap. I don't think that's what keeps the important stuff. Why would you care about that? Weren't you here to see the scoop on Janice? Yeah, and I'm saying there's probably nothing interesting in there. Is it picking up my AC? Damn it. I was really hoping it wouldn't. I gotta turn it down again. Hold on. Is it picking up something? What the fuck? I don't know what it's picking up. I'll turn down the fucking thing. Huh. Alright. Yeah, and I'm saying there's probably nothing interesting in there. Listen, what's important now is... Oh god, how is it? How is it? I do this voice? Excuse me? Oh, come on, what now? I turn around to meet our newest intruder. Oh, that's... oh no, that's... I thought that was his way. <laughs> this time it's a young man. What a novel, yeah. A, a visual novel, <laughs> because 
get this. You see the pictures and the stuff. Yeah, and that's what it's called. Joe, it's a good. I don't know. I'm bad at jokes. <laughs> Excuse you. Who are you supposed to be? What are you doing here? Ah, hello. Uh, you can call me Sam. I used to work here with Dr. Janus. I heard about what had happened and couldn't help but want to come check. Likely story. Do you have any proof you worked for him? Of course. Did you already unlock the doors? You have to leave a blank, and that's the password. Luna and I look at each other. They would both glare at Sam. Alright, good enough for me. My name is Brendan Alistair. I guess you can help, if you know what you're doing. What? Just like that? You're gonna let him just waltz in here and do as he pleases? Didn't I do exactly that with you? Seems fair to me. Th that's... Please calm down, I understand your concern. I'll just have to provide more evidence until you can believe me. Whatever. Whatever, don't bother. Luna leaves with him, then turns around and lights a new cigarette. She has like a smoke every two seconds. She's gonna die of lung cancer. I feel so bad. The lovely young lady's name is Luna. Don't worry, she's like that with everyone. And by everyone, I mean me, because I just met her, and I'm the only person that I've seen interact with her, so, uh... <laughs> Probably. I can hear you, jackass. Haha. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Lona. Uh-huh. A real charmer, huh? Anyway, now the introductions are out of the way. Since we've already unlocked all the doors, we should start investigating them. I suggest we split up and search each one, and then we get to investigate the fourth one together. That sounds good, Mr. Alistar. What do you think, Alona? Fine by me. Luna agrees with that question. Maybe she doesn't feel like arguing. Or perhaps she likes the idea of being by herself for a bit. Who will go to which door, then? Hmm. What if we let Mr. Alistar decide? After all, he's the one in charge of this investigation, right? Oh, um, thanks, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. It's not like we know what's in, a, in that... What, <laughs> in what's door, what door anyway? <laughs> I can't talk. Don't know how to talk. Woohoo. Oh, goodness. Fair enough. Alright then, I choose. You, Pikachu. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know why that why I do that why I say the things that I say <laughs> since I'm the first to pick I'll just go door one alright Luna you can choose next two I guess then I'll go ahead and check room three is that okay with everyone yeah no problem sure alright then it's settled We'll meet out here when we're all done with our rooms, then we'll exchange information. And then we can all explore room four together. Sounds like a plan. Alright guys, good luck. With that settled, everyone walks to the chosen doors. We all look at one another la one last time, nod, and then press the switch that unlocks them. And then we died. <laughs> the door slides open. I take a deep breath and step forward. As soon as I step foot inside the room, the door shuts behind me. I turn around and confirm my suspicion. It's locked. For now, I should focus on finding the password so I can get out. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's very much Zero Escape inspired. Go through each room, solve puzzles, like a, like an escape room type thing. Very 999. Because I think 999 was more like that than. I don't know, I guess the other ones were like that. It's probably the one I remember the most, though, 999. I gotta. I wanna stream those games. They're very good. They're very good. 
very, very good. My eyes deep into the camera. Very good games. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have here? Looking at the around the room, I, 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 I see I can't talk very well. I see a computer on one of the desks. Surprisingly, it's already on. I move the mouse and the screen lights up. Yet, before I can do anything else, a video pops up by itself. It's a video of Lucian. What the hell? Now, what do I have on his voice to sound like? Greetings and welcome to my lab! If you are in this room, it means two things. First, you managed to figure out the first password. I commend you for that. Second, you're trying to infiltrate my vaults and presumably steal all of my equipment and research. This room, as well as the other three, will test whatever, whether you're worthy of acquiring my whole life's work. Now, you might be wondering, why would this crazy old man make it easier for thieves to break in? The explanation is simple, really. You see, my line of work is not what one would call safe. It is very often that I put my life at stake. It's a part of my job I've come to terms with. If something were to happen to me, I would be trapped inside my vault and all my research would go to waste. Who knows how much time it would take for people to break in by force. And if they do, they would need strength so great it would jeopardize all of my delicate equipment. So whether you're an aspiring scientist or a simple thief, I will give you one chance to carry on with my work. If you can solve the challenges in these rooms, you'll be granted access to my vault. But if you fail to complete the tasks present in them, then your punishment will be... Death. What? I start hearing a beeping behind me. I turn around. Drops of cold sweat trickling down my face. When I realize what's making that sound, my blood freezes. Installed in the wall, there's a big digital clock counting down. It's approaching the 28 minute mark, so I guess it started half an hour. My heart feels like it's going to burst out of my chest. Why? Why? Why would he do this? I know he's a bit eccentric and had a twisted sense of humor, but this is on a whole new level. This is straight up murder. I slam my hand on the desk. The video goes on. Mm. If you take too long to find the password, all the oxygen in this room will be extracted immediately. It certainly is not the best way to go, let me tell you. Only people I deem worthy will be allowed access to the vault. Anyone arrogant enough to try and take over my lab who can't even solve this test? Well, let's say they had it coming. Still, I am not completely heartless. In the top drawer of this desk, there's a syringe with a general anesthetic. You find that a a a a a Oh my goodness, I cannot say this fucking word to death. It's too scary of a concept. You can make yourself fall asleep peacefully beforehand. And that should make sure your death is as painless as possible. One last thing before I leave you to your very important task. Let me uh, tell you how this all, how all this works. This emergency system is turned off manually by me once a week. I mean, it's not like I would want to give up my research while I'm still up and kicking right. So, if you're watching this video, it means I have not turned it off for at least seven days. I'm sure you know what that means. So, you were supposed to turn it off today. That also means that I won't be accountable for any unfortunate accidents that might take place in this lab. Oof. With all that said, I bid you farewell and wish you the best of luck. Prepare for these trials and carry on my legacy. With that, the video comes to an end. Dot dot dot. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. I... I... How? How do I start? Uh, let's see here. Ah, this is... 
general anesthetic. Only Lucian would use glass syringes in this day and age. Ugh. Let's see here. I think there's something on the computer screen. Hmm. Well. Let's just watch air. Welcome to room number one. For the first puzzle, you're presented with six beakers that correspond to unknown chemical elements. You'll be required to find out which element each beaker represents. You're provided with a kit of testers, which will give you information on what kind of element each beaker represents. The testers at the top will tell you what type of element it is. Obviously, each beaker will only will only make one of these react. Why did it get loud again? Oh, this happened last time when I played it. It got loud randomly. Ah. Meanwhile, the testers show us icons will give you miscellaneous information on the elements to further narrow the answer down. Any number of them may react to uh, to a given beaker. Just go with the testers. There's the periodic table on top of the desk. Compare the results of the test to the information on the table to deduce which element corresponds to which beaker. When you think you know the answer, click on the question mark, question mark, question mark label under a beaker to input the element you want. Don't worry about capitalization. Once all the correct elements have entered, you'll be notified and the labels will be locked. So wait, I gotta choose that the whole of the periodic element, a table of elements? Oh god. Oh good god. This is like my worst subject in school ever that I've done. Oh my goodness, I cannot do chemistry for the life of me. Oh, holy crap, Ola. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, we'll find out how this- oh god. Oh goodness. <laughs> if you make a mistake, you'll be offered a one-time hint that you can use to check which answers are wrong. Good luck. Well, it shows stuff there. Oh, wait, those are the thingies that you have kind of Dot, dot, dot. Well, I'd better get started. Now, where's that periodic table? Oh, here. So I have to check each beaker with these four testers until I've narrowed them down to one possible element. I click the label under the beaker and put what I think the answer is. Yeah, seems clear enough. Although, what's the arrows in the beakers? Oh well. I guess it'll make sense later. Yeah, I was I was wondering that too. But mm. click the icon on the bottom left to open the periodic table. Press the icon again to put the table away. Prefer using your keyboard, the T will toggle the periodic table. Numbers 1 through 6 will select corresponding beaker and shift plus 1 through 6 will let you input the element's names. Okay, got it. Alright, so what do I do? I do. This element's atomic number when doubled is greater than the atomic number of the element directly under it. Uh oh. This ship reacts to alkaline metals. Uh, okay. This element's atomic number is between 2 and 10. This element's mass is lower than 30. This is... Okay, so, oh, this is what, okay, so because these are lit up, this element's mass is lower than 30, and the element's atomic number is between 2 and 10. So... Are the upper left the atomic number then? So that I guess that narrows it down a lot then, two through ten, and then less than thirty. Um, that's still gonna be like a lot of. That's gonna be like everything in two through ten, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well that doesn't super help. Um, so elements. Oh, but that's how. Okay, that's how it reacts to alkali alkali metal. Now alkaline, right? Is that what I'm? The strip relax, re reacts to... Oh, it reacts to alkaline metal. Okay, so I clicked that. Okay, so it only reacts to this. And then also, it's atomic number between 2 and 10, and mass low 30. Uh, that doesn't... Is that, so these two don't matter. 
and then lower than 30, between 2 and 10, and it reacts to alkali metals. I don't know what alkali metals are. I don't know what that means. Unless it means... Oh, there we go. Okay. Reacts... Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Three. So it can only be it can only be lithium then, right? If I'm if I'm understanding these rules correctly, it can only be lithium. Uh with the with Oh, do I just do I just do the okay. I just do that. Okay, that's all I do. I don't I don't have to Okay, got it. Um, hold on. So it reacts to alkaline earths. The element's atomic number when doubled is greater than the atomic number of the element directly under it. Its mass is lower than 30. Okay, relaxed earth and lower than 30. Let's find those first. Uh, alkaline earth is only these ones. Lower than 30 is only two of them. And it's... When it, what does it say? When it's, when its number is doubled, it's... Uh, it reacts to... Oh, shit. Uh, shoot, it reacts and that is one, right. I don't know what that means then. Shit. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what that means, how, how it reacts then. So it's on the opposite side. So then... Okay, so I don't know a thing about... Chemistry. This is like this is seriously this is, was my worst subject in school, <laughs> literally worst subject, um, ever. The only class I actually like came so close to failing, not all the way up. So, so then so that okay so for that one that I thought was lithium, it said it can be two through ten, so then it has to be it has to be five through ten here, right? Any one of these on the right side. Okay, that doesn't narrow it down a lot then. <laughs> it doesn't narrow it down a lot. That's because it says it reacts to the alkali. So can't. Oh my god, I don't know how. I don't know how science works. <laughs> Shit. That's not. That's not a super helpful. Is that not 100? Because all those things are less than 30. 5 through 10, they're all less than 30. And if they're all on the opposite side, then that means they're they're like all all these all of these. Then it's a lot of options I have between me, right? I don't know. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Shit. So it reacts to Earths. So then it's gonna be something over here, right? Maybe I don't know. Oh boy. And then the number when doubled is greater than the atomic number of each element directly under it. When its number is doubled is greater than each element under it, and its mass is lower than 30. So that's like, that's still a huge amount it could be, right? Am I crazy? Oh no, I guess not, because anything up here, okay. So I kind of understand question mark, maybe? Am I, am I getting it now? <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Okay. I thought I got it, but, um... Hmm. So then it would be anything that's like... So this one specifically, it didn't give me a number, so... It would just say, it, but it'd have to be anything less than 30. And its number doubled is greater than everything below it. Wait, right? What does it say? When... When doubled is greater than the number of the element directly under it. Um, so then it can't be that, can't be that, can't be that, that. That. So then it'd have to, so if I'm understanding this right, then it'd have to be either fluorine or neon. If I'm understanding this correctly. Ah. Huh. Okay, well, at least that narrows it down. I should, uh, there's no, I don't have like a writing thing, do I, on here? Do I have a writing thing? What's this? Oh. Cross the is the way to go, okay. 
The fact that another type of element already leaves out most of the table for each one. Wait, we know the type of the element? What? Then among the ones that particular type, I should use the four testers to start eliminating options. Just keep in mind, if a tester does not turn green, then it doesn't mean it's useless. It just tells me the contrary is true. Wait. For example, if the mass is less than 30, tester is not green, it means the mass is over 30. If I check the testers one by one for one beaker, and see what elements are left after each test, I should end up with one possible answer. Wait. Huh? Hold on. Huh? Okay, hold on. Let me go back and understand. So the first puzzle is six beakers to unknown count of elements. Which beaker? Kit testers, which will give you the information of what kind of element each beaker represents. I don't know. So the top, the top, the testers do. It says testers at the top do tell what episode, what element it is, right? Wait. Am I, am I misreading this? I'm confused. Am I misunderstanding this? The testers at the top will tell you what type of element it is. Each beaker will only make one of these react. Cause it's, yeah, so it's a, it's. So it's saying that it's, it's that type of element. At least that's the way it's worded, right? That's the way that it's worded. Am I correct in, in thinking that? Because, hmm, test seconds give miscellaneous information. Yep. Okay. Results. Yeah. I think so. I think by when it says reacts, it just means that it's telling you that it is that thing because it's. It would. It it could only be one of the things, right? Because if you, that makes it more confusing. Does it? I feel like it makes it less confusing because then you know what type you're looking for, right? Because, because like I, so like I thought, because it has to be an alkali metal. And its numbers between two and ten, its mass is less than thirty. That le would leave just one option. That would leave lithium. That's it. So that makes it easy. Oh, the way they worded it makes confusing. Yeah, I guess. Um. But it would make it a lot easier to figure out, like, right? So I feel like that's the way it has to be because that's, because otherwise, I think you would actually have to know like, chemistry for real to figure out this stuff, right? And I don't think that's, I don't think the game is uh, trying to tell you that you need to know chemistry. I think it's just like, it's involving science elements, but not telling you like you need to know specific things. It's telling you how to interpret it, right? That's that's what I'm getting anyways. So if we go by that logic in this one, mass is lower than 30 and the number when doubled is greater than the number directly under it. Earth, I mean Earth would have to be this and less than 30 would only be these two. Um, and then so it would only be magnesium. They're, it's the only option because it would only be those two and then this doubled would be that. Be greater than that. Um, what was magnesium? Mg? Mg. At least that's I don't know. Well, I mean, we'll find out if I'm wrong. If I, it's not how it's actually interpreted, and if it's what you said the other way. Um. So it, only halogen, and it doesn't. So it's greater than thirty, and its number is not a square number, and its number is not doubled greater than that, and elements greater than greater than ten. Halogen. Uh, halogen is only these six, right? Yes, okay. Then greater than 30, so that's a lot of them. Um, but then doubled, it's not greater, so. S so then 17 would be the only option because, right? Everything else doubled would be greater. So it'd only be chlor chlorine. I think. I think. I don't know. We'll see. So transition metal. 
its number is double the greater than the atomic number of the greater, and the number is a square number. Oh, I'm gonna woke up again. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right, um, let's see. So I already forgot what it's doing. Transition. This number is a square number. And double is greater than the number under it. Okay. So wait. Transition? Oh god. And it's over 30, but that's all of them. Mm. So this number is greater. Which should be a lot of them, isn't it? Okay, but then square number. What's the square number in all these? Uh, God, I'm trying to remember square numbers. Uh, so that. Uh, fuck. What else would be? Uh, wait, I can't believe I'm trying to, <laughs> hmm? hold on one sec, she's not falling back asleep yet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so that's one, five, seven times seven. So those. Uh, what else? Uh. Oh my god, I'm blanking. What the hell's nine times nine? Is that on here? Eighty-one, right? Is that nine times nine? I forget. Shit. <laughs> 10 times 10 is like 100, it's not on here, and then 11 times 11. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, no, 91. Wait, what? No, oh my god. My brain is fried. Eight times eight, 64, nine times nine. Am I dumb? Nine times no nine times nine is eighty one, right? Am I dumb? <laughs> so that's not that's not part of it. Then ten times ten definitely isn't part of it. It's eleven times eleven. Is that one twenty two? No, one wait one no one wait, 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 wait. one something? What the fuck am I thinking? I gotta do a math. I gotta do a math. I can't believe I have to do a math. <laughs> I literally don't remember 11 times 11 at all. One, okay, 121. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not on here. 
So only it can only be 42 or 25 then. And what was the other things? The numbers. So the number, hold on. The number is directly under it, greater, yes. The only one's number is a square number. Okay, so it's, we don't know which one it is, but it's one of those two. Is there any other? There's no other transition metals. Uh, what were these ones? It's obviously not that, and its mass is greater than 30. Right? Wait, am I messing up? What is... No, sometimes I'm 49. I'm thinking 42. Okay, it's 49. Oh my god, so it's only this. It's magnesium. Okay. Fucking... My brain is... Like I said, it's fried. Right? That's right. 7 times 7, 49. The second time I got it right, right? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Um, so this is alkali metal. Slower than 30. And its number is doubled greater than the number under it. Um... So, wait, wait, what? Lower than 30, yeah, yeah, lower than 30. Doubled is greater than the number, so it's sodium. Got it. And then a non-metal square number, and it's lower than 30. That should be pretty easy to find out, right? A uh, non-metal square number lower than 30. Wait. Is one a square number? <laughs> I mean, one times one does equal itself. Does that count as a square number? Are the others a square number? No. Yeah. So it's only it's only one, right? Wait. What's hydrogen? H. Just H. Okay. Am I dumb? Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's yep. Okay, so that's what it was. That was... Okay, so that's exactly what they meant with the way they worded it. Okay. I want to make sure I was interpreting that entirely correctly. Alright. <clears throat> All elements endured correctly. Use the information you just obtained to find a passcode. Oh, okay, 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 okay. got it, got it. For an alpha, you should use to figure out the next letters in the passcode. You must pick some letters one. So that makes sense by this, by this, what these mean. Uh, first letters are provided in red, and we start at the point. Each subsequent letter will need to deduce the information from the corresponding beaker. Pay which beaker is highlighted on each step. So for the second letter, you'll be looking for the first beaker. Third letter, second beaker. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you made a mistake, you'll be able to see which letters correspond and correct after you've finished. Hmm. Not much information on this one, huh? The beaker figured exactly what it wants me to do. The first letter is a C. So I guess I have to figure out how to get the next letter in the password. Once I figure out that logic, it'll be a matter of applying it until I have all the letters. Okay. But how do I figure it? I just... So... Uh, hold on, wait, no, that doesn't make... I'm Okay, hold on, hint. <laughs> okay, so it's clear to deduce each letter by looking at the beaker in order. So with the first letter after the C, I have to somehow use the beaker with MG and so on. What exactly do you have to look at? Just the letters on there, I guess? That's the only thing I have, right? The beakers are... Oh! Okay, so that's what the beakers are... Okay. So that is what they're used for. They're used to... So it's either L or I. Right? Does that have anything to do with the red uh, uh, letter in the alphabet? Like a starting point? Yeah, I think... Right? Am I interpreting that right? It means like... So the next letter would have to be either L or I because it's pointing to to the right, saying, "Look at this one." Um, I mean, at that point, it can be either one. But there's nothing. Oh, maybe it would be the second. If it's case, okay. If we're assuming it's case sensitive, then it would always be the second letter. If that's okay, I'm just gonna try to go for that. Um, do I do each one one? I do do each one at one time. Okay. Although it's not showing it as case sensitive, so maybe that's not right then. Shit. I don't know. I'll try it this way. I don't know. And then. But 
And this isn't even this isn't a word, right? That's not a word. Yeah. Letter I is incorrect. L is incorrect. Okay, they're all incorrect. All right, so that was theory is bust. Hmm. Unless it's unless it's just the first letter instead of the. I don't know. I'll try that too, I guess. Fuck it. And what do I have to lose, right? The game's not gonna end, right, if I fuck it up that much. Uh, oops, I fucked up. I fucked up. Shit. Can I go back? No, I can reset. <laughs> uh. No, that's not, that's not a word. That's not a word at all. I know that much. Okay. Next sense, because I have no idea. I'm gonna use the arrows in the red letter together. Does it have anything to do with the Beaker's element system? Symbol. Thought it was related to the position of the element right on the periodic table. Now that doesn't seem to be the case. What else could it be? So, oh. Oh, we still have that. Oh, God. Okay. So. Okay, so where's magnesium? To the right is aluminum. So do I assume that? Would I assume that? But then, like it's only it's only one letter, right? I can't. Yeah, I can only do. The problem with that is I don't know which. Again, I don't know which letter it'd be if that's the case. Lithium next to that's that. So I'm gonna just choose the second letter and hope that that's correct. To the left of C. What was CL again? It was somewhere very plain. So S. Sorry. Well, that one I know has to be just S. MN, uh, MN was down here, so FE, try E. Um, left of NA, there's nothing left, so I assume we go here and R. Okay, that doesn't, is that, that's not a word, right? So let's, it's not a word, that's not, that's gonna be wrong. Right, is that? That's not a word. But are any of them okay? So none of them are correct. So that means that's that's not that's not that. Uh. <laughs> so does it actually have anything to do with the periodic table then? Hmm. What else is there? I guess the arrows mean up to count a number of letters to the left or to the right of the alphabet. Now I need to figure out how many steps it wants me to move. Well, the piece of information has the element trying to look up at the periodic table. It seems it's not related to the letters in the element itself. Instead, the element should tell me how much I should have to move. Oh, wait. But the element should tell me. So the. So then the number of the element would tell me if I move. Right or left, right? If I how much I have to move right now? Okay, so wait, what is that? Magnesium. So I move right twelve. I'm assuming, L I. But that's also crazy. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Oh, I already forgot which one of that one's L-I. Um, three to the right. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Uh, so, 17, yeah, see, that's, that's, that's where it gets crazy. But... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I mean, mm, it does exactly work with seventeen. And then mm. Actually, okay, no, that that does exactly work though. Okay, so wait, does it count? If it counts from twenty-five BZ, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's just Z, okay. And I guess that makes sense, but also doesn't? I don't know. And a 11 left. Corazon? Corazon is only this, but that's like a... Oh, it would be N, because that's just one. So a Spanish word is the... Okay. Corazon, all right. That's a Spanish word, right? Corazon? Is it, a... is it also an English word? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> You've completed room one. Oh, okay. All right, so that was... Okay. All right, so I had many theories, and a lot of them were messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got through it though. We got through it. That wasn't okay. That wasn't terrible. All right, cool. I plop down in a chair and heave a he heave, <laughs> heave a sigh. I wanted to add heavy in there for some reason. I don't know why. It's heavy for me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> After sitting down, staring at the ceiling for God knows how long, I hear the door open. How did I make a stupid voice? Mr. Alistair, are you alright? Oh, huh? What? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go back outside. Alright. I'm so glad you're okay. I didn't know the rooms would be this... intense. So your room also had a timer? Yes, I'm pretty sure they all do. The stakes are much higher than I anticipated. Yeah. This is pretty messed up, even for him. Why are you here again? I hold Dr. Janice in the highest esteem. I can't rest easy knowing I might not be able to speak to him again. I feel the same way, but they probably admire him for different reasons. How so? Well, as far as I know, you look up to him because he's your role model, right? The genius scientist that took you under his wing? The person you aspire to be in the future. I guess that's about right. I would be happy to become half as knowledgeable as Dr. Janus. I have read all his papers. His advancements on genetic engineering were so fascinating to me. They still are. I'd spend days holding in a room just burning through them all. Dr. Janus helped me write my doc doctoral dissertation on genetics. I managed to arrange a meeting and presented my project to him. He showed interest in my ideas as we started working on it together. Sadly, we ended up cutting the project short before we could test it. Huh? Why'd you stop then? Well, let's just say we had some ideological differences, which brought the whole project to a premature end. Huh. That's too bad, really. Yeah, well... That's kind of what I'm here for. I want to find Dr. Janice and pick up where he left off. I'm ready to escape, ex accept his terms this time. I don't know why I screwed up that word for a second there. Hmm. I wonder if Lucian's methods were a bit too unorthodox for this kid. I want to... I want to find Dr. Janice. And if he... If he has passed away, I want to retrieve all the research that was left here. It needs to get finished. I know I can make it happen. I uh, I see. How about you? What do you admire him for? Are you also a man of science, Mr. Alistair? Not exactly, no. I don't look up to Lucian as a mentor or anything like that. It's a bit more personal. You see, I've known him for a very long time. I met him in grade school. He was younger than me but he had skipped grades and ended up in the same class as me. Ha! That's Dr. Janus for you. A genius since childhood. He came from another grade. He had no friends in our class. The other kids bullied him, calling him a nerd and all that crap. I found it kind of sad, but I never really did anything about it. I guess I was scared to defy them at the time. Until one day, I started picking on him during recess, and things got out of hand. Someone tripped him, and he fell face first on the floor. He cut his chin open real bad. There was blood everywhere. For me, that was the last straw. I jumped in to defend him. All the bullies just scrammed. 
Not out of fear of me, of course. But fear of getting caught by some teacher. I helped him up and tried to find something to press against his chin and stop the bleeding. We ended up using my shirt. We walked together to the infirmary, and they had to send him to the hospital to get stitched up. I wanted to go in the ambulance with him, but the teacher went instead. I was really worried for him, but I had no choice but to stay behind and hope for the best. The week after that was St. Valentine's Day. There was no girl I particularly liked, so I decided to do something different. I bought a big heart-shaped chocolate and brought it to him for the following day. The other kids gave me all kinds of weird looks, but I shrugged it off. Either way, when I gave it to him, he seemed really confused. Yet, after a few seconds of staring at the heart, he looked at me with a smile. That was the first time anyone at school had seen him smile. We didn't exchange a single word, word but we just clicked. After that, we started talking every day, and I quickly became very close. We were going to become inseparable friends throughout all of high school. Wow, I didn't know Dr. Janice would have a soft side. We talked a lot about ourselves while we worked. But he never told me about you. Or anyone, for that matter. I was beginning to think he had no friends at all. Yes, he was always a loner. I was his only friend in school, and he never had a girlfriend either. Unfortunately, when we graduated, we parted ways. He went straight into college to become a biologist, while I joined the police force. That's a very touching story. I can see how you would risk your own life for him. Yes, although it's not the end of it. You see, he... Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that all about? As I'm about to tell the rest of the story, a sudden scream brings our conversation to a grinding halt. I guess the rest of the story will have to wait. Luna, I'm glad you're okay. Fuck off. That was too much, even for him. He tried to kill me. Uh, yes, Luna, I know. It happened to all of us. I'm also happy to see you alive. Thanks. Wait, that's weird. That's really weird of him to say. <laughs> I feel like that's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shut up. Can we just get into the vault already? Well, we still haven't been to room four. Ugh, do I seriously have to go through that again? I think the stress took five years off my life. Well, you don't really have to go in if you don't want to, Luna. You can only have a time to start Alistair and me. In your dreams. I'm not letting you two stooges go in alone and screw up. I don't want to get that password as much as you. Two stooges. You do know what that makes you, right? Wow, Luna. I've never seen a journalist as dedicated to her job. Are you sure that's all you are? What do you mean? Yeah, Brandon. What do you mean? I just take my job seriously? Is that so wrong? No, it's pretty admirable, actually. If it really is really to work, that is. Alright, can we please go in already? We're not getting any younger. Especially Mr. Detective over here. I shoot Luna a glare and turn to open door four. <laughs> That's like my Luna, because <laughs> she has come up to me before and said, Dad, you're old. And I'm like, thanks. Thanks, daughter of mine. <laughs> Thank you for telling me this. <laughs> She's actually done that before, and I'm like, what the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> I don't want to be old, damn it. <laughs> right after, the door closes behind us and locks itself. The timer starts ticking, and the computer starts playing the same video as before. It seems all rooms are pretty similar after all. As the video keeps on playing, Sam and I start looking around the room. Meanwhile, Luna stares at the computer screen. I notice her body tensing up. I catch a glimpse of her face, and it's completely twisted with rage. I wonder if it's because of what she had to go through just now, or something else entirely. Oh, how did it make a stupid voice? Still, I am not completely heartless. In the top drawer of this desk, there's a syringe with a general anesthetic. If you find that asphyxiating, I said it right that time. How did I say it right that time and I couldn't say it the other times? What the fuck? Did that is too unbearable. 
You can make yourself fall asleep peacefully beforehand. That should make sure your death is as painless as possible. Fuck you. The sound of something breaking draws my attention straight to Luna. I think she smashed something made of glass in the ground. Whoa, what the hell, Luna? Sam turns around but doesn't say anything. What? It's not like we need that stupid syringe. I know we don't, but... Then shut the hell up. I can't take this. This guy's just mocking us. Well, look who's the dead one now, jackass. I... I understand you're upset, but... <clears throat> oh god. Let's just focus on getting the password, okay? Alright, fine. Let's get on with it before the psycho kills the three of us. She takes a cigarette from her pocket, lights it up and brings it to her lips, and smokes, like, the 50th one in less than an hour. <laughs> she looks away and puffs out a big cloud of smoke. Okay, now that's settled. And the video is over. Let's check out the computer, shall we? Sam and I walk over to the computer while a bunch of text starts showing up. I'm really not getting much out of this. Uh, Sam? Say anything to you? Because I've got nothing. Sam doesn't answer. He's focused on reading. Until finally, he pulls the chair out and sits on it. And starts typing to fill in all the blank spaces on the screen. Don't worry, Mr. Alistair. This should be easy for me. You can relax. I'll have this done in just a few minutes. Uh, oh, alright. Great. I'll leave you to it. I walk away from the computer to give him some space. And start looking around the room. Meanwhile, Luna's looking through some lab equipment, cigarette in hand. The room is starting to stick really badly at this point. Uh, Luna, you mind putting that out? It's a pretty tiny room, and it's really starting to smell. Hello? I tap her so shoulder, but still no answer. What the? I walk in front of her to see her face, and then I finally notice. Oh no. We're frozen, aren't we? She's not breathing. We're frozen in time again, aren't we? Oh fuck. Oh, how is he? How is he gonna escape this one? We we have a tiny room to stay in. What the fuck? All right. This is the weird shit. This is the weird shit I meant if you missed last night. This is it's gonna get weird. My chest is really hot and my sight is even cloudy. I lose balance and stumble on a counter, dropping some glass equipment on the floor. Of course, Luna doesn't react. She's frozen. So is Sam. He's not typing anymore. Meta started to hurt really bad. I already know what this means. Where are you? Show yourself. Something made of glass flies across the room and hits the wall next to my head. A small shard flies straight into my cheek. Fuck. I pull the shard out of my face. A trickle of blood starts running down my cheek. I'm getting really tired of your shit. Twice in the same day, as at first. The man without a face charges at me with a broken bottle, but I manage to pick up a tray and block his swing. As I flinch back, he needs to be square in the gut. There's no way I'm surviving a physical struggle with him. If I could only run away, this would be so much easier, but I'm trapped in here with him. Think, Brandon, think. There has to be something in this room that I can use. That's it. I doubted that him would be immune to that anesthesia. Without turning around, I open the first drawer on the desk where Sam is. I feel it with my hand, but... Wait. I finally turn around and look down at the drawer. Empty. What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm out of time. Oh. Before I can react, I feel something sharp penetrate my side. My face slams against the hard tiles on top of broken glass shards. I have my eyes and look at the broken syringe on the floor. Then up at Luna. I stare at a frozen body as I feel all the strength leaving my body. Even though Luna's frozen. I can't help but think it was her who killed me. Okay. So that's supposed to happen. Because it didn't offer me any time to interject... Okay, but how is it going to explain the... Hmm. 
Because I think didn't the other games do that? Well, they did. How did they do it? It's been oh, it's been a while since I played any of those Zero Escape games. How did they do it? All right, well, let's see what it does. Just wait for it to go through. Mm. Oh God! Snap my fingies. Oh, these are a lot of different people for music, huh? Cool. Oh, they use Ren PD to make this. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Uh. God, the damn light's getting really hot. Fuck. Ending. Blame. Okay. Blame ending. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I did blame her. So wait, how do I... Oh, chart. So... Oh, so me going to door one first caused that, right? Is that what I'm, or am I going to have to go through each and every door before I can, oh, right. So I'm going to have to go each, through each and every door, maybe potentially. Let's just start investigating them, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine with me. Yes, 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 we've already done this. All right, so now I can choose a different door. I mean, fuck it, we'll do door four. I'll take door four, I guess. How about you guys? Blah, blah, blah. You choose next. I don't care. I'll just take three. I'll try and two. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So I'm curious about the puzzle is if he, he like, he was so dumbfounded by the puzzle, he was like, the fuck is this shit? I'm curious about what the hell this puzzle is supposed to be. As soon as inside the room, the door shuts behind me. I turn around for the perimeter system is locked. Okay, that's that's so that's the text the same. Alright. Alright, that's uh, sure. Okay, yep, that's the same. Okay, so yeah, the everything's exactly the same to that point. So I'm just keep skip 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 skip. I do skeeps. The other route that I don't have, I'm assuming that's dying to the, the thing the first time you see it. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's see. You're gonna act exactly the same. But how does he react to the computer since he was so confused this this time? That time. The other timeline. Alright, welcome to room number four. The puzzles in this room revolve around as wrench you require to I don't need to use this voice to see that. <laughs> That's right, you to give me first special is one you may already know. Use one five liter beaker and one three liter beaker to measure four liters of liquid. Good luck. Okay, so I need to make four liters. Shouldn't be too hard, just have the player on his beakers until you get four liters, right? Let's give it a shot. Okay, Phil. Do that. And then uh Phil, and then do that. Then do that. No. Uh, fill. And then empty. And then do that. And then. No. Fill. Wait, how do I. I'm having a brain dumb again. Oh my goodness, I don't know how to do two things. Fill. It's not gonna be a shit. Uh, 
Uh, huh? Okay, that one. And then, wait, what? Wait, what? I'm confused. I'm already confused as heck. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to make it so that. Hmm, and that's just gonna make three anyways. What? Oh boy, I'm dumb as heck. So if I get rid of two, that's three. I want to be able to just get rid of one. So how do I make two in there? Empty, do that, and then I want to have that with one. And then oh, 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 wait, hold on, that like that. And then do I want to empty, empty, and then fill, and then do that? Wait, no. I want to have, wait, what? Uh, 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 I really don't know. <laughs> this is probably so much more easier than my stupid ass motherfucking dumb brain is trying to think of it. Um, I can't fill that one. I can't. I'm thinking it would be stupid too. Right? So wait. Oh, duh. Okay, it, it was real simple. Jesus Christ. Okay. It was stupidly simple. I just... Okay. Success. Good. That's done. Rank puzzle number two. This is just the first one, though. Okay. Oh, boy. You need to fill the beakers with the amounts shown on the top of the screen. This time you start with one full beaker and you cannot add or remove an amount of liquid. Hmm. I see. Okay, this looks a bit harder, but nothing I can't handle. Okay, so we want that one full, and then those two each to have two. So then, theoretically, that would be that. Then we do... Oh, I can transfer three to that one? Oh, that makes it a little better, question mark? Um, Potentially, wait, maybe not. Okay, we got that one, and then, oh yeah, yeah, they're right there, done. Okay, yeah, 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 that makes it super easy. I didn't realize I could, okay, cool. Yes, two down. What's next? So I make him sound like he's getting so hype over this. Yes, I'm fucking smart, holy shit. <laughs> Last puzzle for this challenge, you provided a format and seven minute hourglass. Turn them as much as you like, they only start running when you press the past minutes button. When you do, seven the hourglass fall until one of them is empty. That much time will be added to your total. The time will both simultaneously. When one runs out, the other will run out for the same amount of time. The other guys the lowest amount of minutes, and it will run completely. The other guys will just run for that many minutes. Right. I need to measure nine minutes exactly. So, okay. Was it saying I can, can I switch at any time? You go over the limit, you need to start over. Okay. Huh. Okay, this one looks a bit more complicated. Is there a start playing around if I get the hang of it? Let me think of a strategy as I go. Okay, so can I? Past four minutes. Oh, okay. Right, okay. What? That's not gonna work at all. So I'm gonna go over no matter what. Yeah. So that won't work that way. Yeah. Um, but if I do this, okay. So that will do that, past four minutes. Then I can pass three minutes. And then I will have, yeah, I'll have one minute left there, and then I can just do that. Oh shit, wait, no. Oh, fuck, I messed up my math. I, big surprise, I messed up my math. Big fucking... 
shit. All right, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, it is going to work. I asked, okay. I didn't think that through completely. It, 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 it would work. It did work. I didn't think it through completely. <laughs> yes. Why was he so confused then when they went in together? What the fuck? That was actually easier than the other one. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I did it. Done. He behaved okay. Same thing. I'm alive. Okay. So same dialogue comes through there. Oh, that's a little different. Okay. So she went through room three that time, and that was easier for her. Okay. I have successfully come through before and go back inside and meet the others. I find Luna staring at you, Tortuga, smoking. Her hands shaking. No, her whole body is. I don't blame her, though. I think this took a toll on all of us. Luna, you're out. Good job. Are you alright? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Shannis. Huh? Janice. Janice just killed someone. Wh what? I've never been to war, but I think this is what it must feel like to be shell shocked. Wait, so did the other guy die? What the fuck? You couldn't figure out the puzzle? I've seen a big deal of death throughout my career, but this is the first time. This is the first time the killer is my best friend. W what happened? Did he... Did he run out of time? Luna takes a long dragon or cigarette and exhales and points out a little screen... Points at the little screen on the door. Oh, God. Test failed. Oh, shit. Luna just keeps smoking, staring blankly at the door. This... This can't be happening. I swear I didn't know. I swear. Never said it was your fault, Brendan. If anything, you're only to blame for trusting that son of a bitch. She drops the cigarette on the floor and walks away from me. Her eyes were glassy and her voice was cracking. Meanwhile, my throat is twisted in a knot. Who am I kidding? Why did I think I could do this? I quit my job because I knew I was a failure. Why the hell would an irresponsible slob like me take on something like this? You did it again, Brandon. Good fucking job. You let someone fucking die on you again. Aren't you proud of yourself? Isn't exactly why you quit in the first place. Then what the fuck am I doing here? A family is going to be waiting for their son to come home. But he never will. Did he have a partner? Children? I should have never accepted help from him. How could he even consider it? Why do I never learn? I feel like the, the music style is trying to go first, like the warped Higurashi stuff, where like all the weird shit suddenly starts happening in the town, you know? I still gotta finish that. I never finished. <gasps> I never finished part five after I got to it. I should do that. I don't wanna, I wanna play those stupid games. <laughs> Lucian, how could you? I. I should call the police. It's over. Don't. What? Please don't. What do you mean, don't? Luna, someone died just now. We can't just... And then what? What do you... I'll tell you what happens next. We call the police. They swarm the place. This becomes a crime scene. They take us in for questioning. We get out tomorrow. This place will be a parking lot by then. What the... How do you know about the demolition? Oh, so you knew as well? Then you must know better than anyone that you can't call the cops. I know you feel shitty. You think I'm okay with this? You think I don't want to just run back home and just pretend none of this happened? But this is our only chance. 
There's no trying again tomorrow. We can't give up now. And you know it. No, I'm through. I won't make the same mistake again. Forget it. Sam was a scientist, even he failed one of the rooms. Brendan, for fuck's sake, snap out of it. Sam's... Sam's gone. And I don't like it any more than you do. But we can't just quit. We both know we need to see this through, even if it's for different reasons. Uh, this is what I'm wondering, though, since there's different timelines, there's... How far does it branch? Hmm. Like, would this timeline divulge into a timeline without Sam? And then block at a certain point? Or continue on up to a certain... Like, through a quote-unquote resolution? Hmm. I... I can't put you in danger again. I can't lose you too. Then... Help me solve the next puzzle. For the two of us, there shouldn't be a problem. Right? Dot, dot, dot. I'm really that certain we can make it. I know the risks. But I can't give up either. I... I need to do this right. So what... Hmm. I'm curious, because... In the other timeline, Door 2 made her super fucking pissed off. And this timeline, Sam died. So what the fuck is behind door number two? What the fuck is behind it that could have killed the scientist with that who knows science stuff in the science thing game? Huh. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just really curious now. <laughs> My mother. She's counting on me. This is our only chance to get back on our feet. I'm all she's got. Dot, dot, dot. I, I can't let you risk your life. Think of how your mother would feel if she lost you. One big story is not worth it. Shut up. You don't know what it's like for us. If I don't do this, if we can't get into that vault, then I might as well just die here. Is this really that important to you, Luna? I've been waiting for a chance like this for a long time. It all comes to this. I can't fail now. We better do this right from now on. No screwing around. Thank you, Brendan. It'll be fine. Trust me, we'll make it out. Yes, we will. For Sam. For Sam. So I'm assuming there's another timeline where Luna dies and there's another timeline where we all survive? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Curious. A chance like this? Did something really happen between Lucian and her? Dot, dot, dot. I'll have to ask her when we get out. I could really go for a smoke right now. No, Brendan. You have to work. You have work to do. You'll smoke when you're done. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is what I need so I didn't know it. Oh, so I kind of forgot it, but I just know how to do it. Door shuts behind us. The music video immediately starts playing. I don't bother to listen to it again. Sure enough, there's one here too. Hopefully, I won't be needing this. We better start looking through this room and find the puzzles. Let's see here. I think there's something on the computer screen. No, 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 okay. Can it? Oops. What the? Is it? Did it do it? Okay. It went past it. Good. Wait. Where's the the rest of it? Wait. Wait. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. The rest of it disappeared. 
Hold on. Where's the, what? Wait, wait. Uh, uh. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Wait. But it disappeared. The table. The table's not there this time. And nothing. Nothing else is there this time. What? Wait. Is this a bug? Oh god damn it. I don't remember what the what the things were. I remember that was H. This was H. Shit. One of them was magnet. I don't remember. Wait. Hold on. There's something. Something's messed up. I pressed the button. I must have pressed the button, right? Hold on. There's something. Something's wrong here. Something's fucked up. Hold on. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally minimized the game. What the fuck? I don't know. That was a thing. Um, escape? Save slot one. Self voicing enabled. Oh, what the fuck? There was a voice thing I had on? What the fuck? Controls. Um, accessibility menu is A, toggle full screen. Oh, that's... Okay, that's how I do that. Got it. Skip dialogue hole, take screenshots, advanced dialogue, activate interface, hide user interface, activate interface, maybe? Or accessibility menu? No. Uh, no, but the right clicking doesn't, uh, I think the game broke, right? Because otherwise it would, right? Wouldn't it tell me? Yeah, it would have to. What the fuck? It had to have broke. It had to have braked. Braked? Break? Broke? Broke? Brocked? Hmm. Alright, so wait, should I just, can I just go f back to the... Yeah, can I just go back to that beginning of it and see what the fuck happened? The game just broke right there, I think, right? Alright, I'm just... Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay, that just... <laughs> Okay, I somehow skipped all of this. I don't know what I did, but I skipped all Okay. Yeah, I didn't catch a thing from that. Huh? You didn't get it? Well, did you? I'm sorry. I'm not good at this. I mean, I'm good with computers and stuff. But chemistry? Yo, just like me. What up? What up? It's your girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> pass. What do you mean, pass? H hey. I'm talking to you. Sigh. Well, I guess I'd, I'd better get started. Skip puzzle. Oh, I can skip the puzzle because I already did. Okay, good, good, good. Cool. Oh, that one, my head hurt. At least most of it's done. Be out of here in no time. Luna? Oh, it's happening now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, she's in place. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. So it still happens in the middle of the second puzzle. That's your deal. Leave me the fuck alone! And throw it across the room. The man without a face isn't hurt by it, though. He picks it back up with ease and snaps it against the counter. He looks just as horrifying as usual. One just does not get used to that sight. I managed to get a glimpse of the clock on the door. It's stuck and won't go down anywhere. The man without a face picks up a broken chair leg and charges at me. Get out of the way, praying he doesn't wreck the computer behind me. Oops. Click the thing. On my neck. Okay. Uh, ah, ah, ah. You never survive. If the computer's destroyed, it's all over for me either way. Barely managed to dodge his tackle. I run and pick something to defend myself. I end up taking the cushion off the chair and quickly rising it to block his swing. His weapon clashes against my improvised shield, which barely manages to protect me. One stab at the metal chair leg and I'm done for. I fall down on the floor with the cushion raised above my head. As I prepare to swing again, I... Get out of the way, I guess. 
I roll out of the way and he strikes the wall, snapping his weapon in half. He tosses it aside and turns to me while I get back up on my feet. Come on, do your worst. He doesn't react. He just stands there. Even though he has no eyes, I can still feel like he's staring me down. If I could only run away, this would be so much easier, but I'm trapped in here with him. Think, Brendan, think. There has to be something in this room that can buy me time. I just have to look. Didn't Lucian leave something in these rooms I can use right now? Click on the screen to search the room. Click on the screen. I'm oh, there we go. Those drawers? I've never checked those before. There's nothing useful in them. Wait, it wasn't. Oh, that's those drawers. That's right. With the syringe in the drawer. I run to the desk, shoving him in the process. I pull the top drawer open so hard it falls off the desk. Shit. The man with that face finally reacts, starts trudging towards me. I kneel down on the floor and start looking at the drawer put. He got to me faster than I expected. I turn around. He lifts me off the ground by his neck. By, by my neck. By the neck. As I fill it around as a fish out of water. While I'm dangling from his left hand, he raises his right. Clenched in a fist and dives straight at my face. But it's not my face he hits. Instead, his fist impales himself with a syringe I managed to raise just in time. My hand snaps back and hits my forehead, causing the plunger to push out all the liquid at once. I barely notice him flinching as he shakes his hand until the syringe comes off. Yet I can start breathing again as, he, as his grip loosens. He swings his fist once again, and this time manages to hit my face. What doesn't hurt at all. His hand is completely limp and is capable of no more than a pathetic, harmless slap. Soon his other hand follows suit to the point he can no longer keep grasp on me. I twist his fingers and free my neck. They feel like jelly in my hands. He tries to attack me, but has lost all control of his arms. I crouch down to pick up the syringe he dropped. I start stabbing as hard as I can all over his body. I mean, that's not really... I guess, I mean, I guess if you inject a little bit each time, but that's so weird. Why would you do that instead of just inject the whole thing? I don't know. I mean, I guess you can't... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> his legs, his chest, his head, his lip arms. How does it feel, you bastard? I just keep on stabbing his limp body with an empty syringe over and over and over. It seems the anesthetic got to his legs eventually, because he can't stand up anymore. I try to stab him again, but I go right through his body. His time's up. And then John Cena comes out. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Anytime I hear time is up, I just think of his goddamn John Cena's interest music. I don't know why. Just be too much watching wrestling, I guess. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I step back and watch his body melt. This time he doesn't flail or struggle. He must be completely paralyzed. Guess not even you are immune to Lucian's drugs, huh? I throw the syringe to the floor and crush it underfoot. Soon after, I hear the clock beep. Let's finish this. Luna starts moving again as if nothing had happened. She's facing away from me, checking some stuff on a desk while smoking a cigarette. Then she turns around and... Hey, how's it? Uh, why is that chair broken? You... You might want to lay off the desserts. <laughs> wow, rude. Fucking don't call me out like that. <laughs> Shit. Fucking what the fuck. <laughs> so let's look at the second part of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't... Wait, the way the chair's broken. The way that it sounded like it broke. I don't think... I, 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 I don't think that that would have been from someone sitting on it. What the fuck? I don't know, I guess she doesn't know much of- I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Skip, yeah, skip the part of it, okay, cool. Congratulations, you completed your mod, all right. <laughs> Corazon? Isn't that Spanish for... Heart, yes. Huh, didn't know you spoke Spanish, Brendan. Neither did I. What? Wait, you didn't know it was Spanish?
I skipped something then. Okay. There's usually in these types of games, there's usually like the zero escape stuff. There's usually like a, a quote unquote intended order, even though there's some things you can kind of do in whatever order. Uh, so I must have missed something where he learned. And then, and when I go through tour two or three, there was something where he learned Spanish for some reason or whatever. I don't know. It's like, it was like the idea. Well, if this is a simo, the idea is no matter what timeline you're in, the knowledge carries across through all timelines, but you have no idea that it's happening. It's kind of like, is it kind of like Schrodinger's cat? Like you don't know, right? I don't know. It's kind of like, it's hard to explain. God, I really want to play those games now. <laughs> Fuck, they're so good. They're so good. I don't have the first two on PC though. Shit. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna stream those soon. I'm gonna. I, I think I decided I'm gonna stream those soon because I really I, I love those stories and those characters and everything. They're so good. It's all so good. I want more of it, but I know the series is never gonna continue now that they're working on other shit. Man, it's so good. And World's End Club. I need to finish that too at some point. Shit. All right. Uh, finally, we exit room one. Lost count of how many times I almost died today. Uh. Well. I guess technically if you count the rooms and then each time the guy attacked four times in this timeline. <laughs> I take a deep breath and plop down on the floor. Seems like the years are catching up to me. Lun doesn't look so good either. She's leaning against the wall, smoking a cigarette. She's trying to look cool, gazing into the distance. But she's not fooling anyone. She's sweating bullets. Well, now that there's an inter door two, since that one wasn't completed, it was failed. You have to see the dead body. Don't blame you. <laughs> so. Someone has to address the elephant in the room. Ahem. I know we only have three passwords, but... Shouldn't we try to open it anyway? Can't hurt to try, right? Wait, what was the password of the fourth one? What did I get for a password? Did I totally just like miss that and not realize what it was? Can I go that far back? Nope. I guess not. But first, what is it now? I've got to go. What? You're leaving? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Thank you. She rolls her eyes, flicks her cigarette, but away, and gets up from the wall. Then she strolls past me and goes up the stairs. That's weird. There's a restroom down here. Why is she bothering to go all the way up? Oh, well. Who cares? Sigh. I still can't believe what's happening. Someone just died here, and it's all my fault. And Lucian is probably as well. What am I going to do? The metal door slams open. Okay, I'm ready. A sudden noise shakes me back to cruel reality. All right, let's do it. Luna buries her hands in her pocket and starts heading for the vault. Oh, so they... Oh, wait, can you not open the door after it's been... Oh, after it's been sealed, you can't open the door at all, can you? Oh, shit. Okay. So this might be an end, then, because we won't be able to get through the, the vault shit. Okay. I follow behind her and we both stop at the giant metal door. Okay, so it looks like this keypad will let us type the passwords in. There's four lights, but they're all off. Because each one corresponds to one password. Well, let's type one of the three we know and hope it works. That's our best bet right now. Alright, I've beaten worse odds. Let's see. 
I've got one and three. <sighs> Wait, three? Didn't I do door four? I did door four. What? I take out my notepad and start copying the first password. Okay, here goes. I've got one and four, not one and three. What? She did door three. Third letter in the panel lights up green. Well, that's one. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's two down. We've got one more to go. You have it in your phone, don't you? Can I have it for a sec? In your dreams. No way I'm letting you touch my phone. Oh, come on. Don't be so immature. I'm not going to look through your texts, I promise. I just want to see the password. You do it then. No need. I've already sent it to you. Huh? You did? How? I reach for, <clears throat> I reach for my pocket and pull my phone out. There's an image request in my inbox. How'd you do that? I never told you my number. Bluetooth. You left yours on. You should turn it off, by the way. That thing's a bitch on your battery. I know, you just click accept and that's it. B Bluetooth? Is that how Bluetooth works? Can you just send... I don't think you can send like an image like that, right? Can you? It's like... Actually, I never tried before. What happens when you connect a Bluetooth phone to a Bluetooth phone? I never tried that before, actually, so I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that does work like that. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> what always miss out on this stuff? What year does this take place? Bluetooth is not new. Bluetooth is not something that he should be, like, what the fuck about. <laughs> I proceed to open the image Luna very kindly sent me. It appears to be a picture of the screen from room 3. It's a bit blurry, but the password is clear enough to read. Okay, here goes nothing. Please let three be enough. I mean, probably not, right? Like, hmm. Oh, what? Really? This time, a loud metallic sound follows the beep, soft beep from the keypad. What's that? Really? Why did only three of them work? Why did three of them work and not having to use all four? What? Well, that's kind of fucked then. So the other timeline, they could have just... Oh, fuck. Instead of me dying, I we could have just entered the passwords in then, right? Shit. <laughs> I twist the large handle. And turn the door slides open, emitting a metallic screech that echoes all around the room. Oh god. A nauseating stench wafts through from inside the vault. Luna starts gagging until she can't hold it anymore and ends up throwing up on the floor. I'm not doing very well myself either. What the hell is that smell? I. I don't know. Mm, dead body? Except I do. Please don't be what I'm thinking. Please let me be wrong. Please, let him be alive. I rush into the vault, feeling around the wall to find the light switch. Then when I finally push it... There's a party! Surprise! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it just turns into one of the, the extra scenes in, a, in Higurashi, where they're just doing like a... a a pretend post episode party with all the characters. <laughs> uh. Why? Why couldn't I be wrong? I rush in. I don't even care about the smell anymore. I can't hear anything, feel anything, see anything, anything, except. Except for the corpse of my best friend. Covered in blood. Oh, and blood? Wait a minute, what? Wait, what? Is 
that would imply either he did it or he did himself or that uh that uh what the fuck <laughs> god i don't know what the fuck god fucking damn it i snap i run towards him and throw myself to my knees next to him i'd almost forgotten how it felt to cry I just kneel there, staring at my best friend's dead, rotting body. I've been examining the scene. It looks like he coughed up a lot of blood. Oh, he was sick? What the fuck? Looking behind him, I finally noticed the cause of death. A stab wound in his back. Oh, okay, no, he didn't. Okay, so it was, he was killed. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh probably punctured a lung. In his hand rests a bloody scalpel. He must have pulled it out of himself. Since his dad was on his back. <laughs> oh goodness. It's impossible he committed suicide. So then, who killed him? Huh. Weird. Why? What is everyone I love? Everyone I care about? As I stand in front of his body, Luna finally enters the vault. I hear her soft footsteps behind me. He's... he's dead. Not that you care anyway. You hated it, didn't you? Hell, you must be glad. She doesn't say anything. That's probably for the best. Finally, I look up. I take a good look around for the first time. There are dozens of weird machines and equipment I've never even dreamed of. A few steps away, I notice the lab coat hanging from a chair. It must have been his. Weird. Why would I take it off inside? I pick it up and expect inspect it. Some of the blood seems to have splattered on it. Oh, Lucian. Who did this to you? I search the pockets. Huh? There's something inside. It's a small glass syringe filled with a clear pinkish liquid. A loose syringe in his coat pocket. This is surprisingly careless for Lucian. Gotta be careful to stick this on myself by accident. Is this one of those anesthetics Lucian put in the rooms? No, can't be. Those are crystal clear. This is kind of pink. Upon closer inspection, there's a small label stuck on the vial. It reads Tabula Rasa 26% Lucian Janus. What the fuck? Newest invention title. What the fuck? What the fuck? So it actually exists. The vial of immortality. Who the hell would even want to use this? I can't imagine why I believe this would solve all my problems. Living forever. What would that solve? A syringe full of cyanide would solve more than this. I don't think this works anyway. Me being here tonight is enough proof that it doesn't. Well, guess I better get back and deliver the bad news to Sally. Don't move. You're not going anywhere. What the fuck? What the hell do you think you're doing? Luna? Oh shit. It's nothing personal, Brendan. But I can't have you bring in a bunch of cops in here. What are you talking about? Is your scoop that important that you have to 
pull a fucking gun on me. Uh, I don't think that's it, Brendan. Um, pretty sure you're a cop. You should know this. You can detect stuff. Uh, pretty sure she did it. <laughs> I'm not here for a scoop. How's that for deduction? D d what the fuck did I say? Deduction, detective. Hmm. Is this what I get for trusting people? Still holding the lab coat, I stick my hands up while Luna stands behind me. I hear her get close to me and press the gun on my back. D don't touch me with that thing. My body, my body violently spaz 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 spasms. Shit. It seems Luna got startled by my sudden outburst because. Oh, uh, she shot, and I die. What the fuck? What did you do that for? He's got a fear of guns. Kirk. You should have been careful. He has a fear of guns. You should have learned, learned this. You should have figured it out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that's how this timeline ends, I guess. So this. This is it. My head feels light. I've got a sharp burning pain in my back. I can feel a warm pool of blood forming under me. Oh god. I don't know if that came through. Probably a little burp. Oh god. I guess this isn't so bad after all. Dot dot dot. Is it? Is it? Reach for the jacket. Oh, am I gonna try the syringe? Oh god, what the fuck is gonna happen? Tabula rasa. It's now or never. Oh, is this the intended first ending then? Or not? I don't know. I assume it would work differently than they, they think it does, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Hey. Hey. Is that him saying it? Who's saying hey? Snap out of it. Ow. What the hell? Finally. I thought you had a stroke or something. A stroke? Wait. Oh, okay, so it does work like that. Okay, it works like I thought. Okay. Yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, makes sense. Okay, I knew Tabula Ross had something to do with, like, time shit, right? I knew it. Okay. I remember something about... Like, wasn't there a weird, like, MMO about, like, weird time shit and, like, something called Tabula Rasa? Uh, I think there was. I don't remember. Wait a minute. Didn't you just... What the... Was it just a dream? No, it couldn't be. It felt so real. It was real. I'm not crazy, I swear. The last thing I remember is... And then... Hmm. So is there a timeline where Janus is alive and he doesn't get shot because he used that or something? I don't know. Hmm. It says 26%. That, that's the part that confuses me. The 26% on the syringe thing. So what is that? It only partially works? Or something? I don't know. It's too many mysteries. Too many mysteries. I reach behind my back, feeling the area where I got shot. But nothing. Holy shit. It actually worked? Did Lucian really do it? Then why? Why didn't he? Mm, hello? Earth to Brendan. We don't have time for this, dude. The crazy dead guy is going to kill us if we don't hurry, remember? I'm sorry. I'm fine. Just a little lightheaded, that's all. I did almost die just now. The fuck? Die? So you did actually have a stroke after all. 
Oh, come on, Luna. Don't play dumb. You both know what happened just now with the gun. Damn, you should give me whatever you're smoking after we get out of here. Sounds like you had one hell of a trip. What are you talking about? We're in the middle of a puzzle. What the hell are you talking about? Man, growing old is scary. <laughs> in the middle of a puzzle? Where are we? Uh, oh, uh, wait a minute. So where the time... Where the time sp stops... Are parts that he's jumping through. Is he his own no-faced man? Trying to kill himself? Huh. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I like it though. I like this weirdness. <laughs> or in room one. It doesn't look like we've gotten the password yet. Mm -hmm. I turn around. Sure enough, the clock on the wall is ticking down. Not a lot of time left. Was it all a dream? Or enough screwing around. We gotta hurry. Yes. Let's finish this and get out of here. Oh, wait, now it's making me actually do the puzzle again? Oh, only part of the puzzle, though. What the fuck was it? Cor Corazon? Corazon isn't the Spanish for heart. Yeah. Oh, so that's okay. Nope, never mind. It's in. It is in the same timeline that he learns it. Okay. Didn't know you spoke Spanish. Neither did I. That's weird. Wait, or no, that wouldn't make sense. Would it? I don't know. Would it make sense? I don't know. Time is weird. Time is weird when you do this time traveling shit. It's hard to understand what's going on. <laughs> Oh, nice job. That was actually impressive. Yeah, I guess. Luna gives me an exasperating look at the size. She pulls out her phone and takes pictures of the password on the screen. Why... Why did I know the answer already? This doesn't make any sense. Think, Brendan. I was in the vault with Luna. I'm positive I wasn't dreaming. I really felt like I was about to die. And then, I injected myself with... You can't be serious. I noticed that immortality is way beyond the realm of possibility, but... This? Did... Did I seriously... Is this... My second chance? So then, if I remember correctly... Isn't this around the time she goes to the bathroom? Something tells me she didn't go for that reason. She got the gun in the drawer. Oh, she didn't have a gun. She didn't actually come with a gun. She didn't expect anyone to be here. Okay, yep. She got the gun in the drawer. Somehow either knew it was up there or something. I rush out of room one and dart towards the stairs. Hey, where's the fire? I just ignore her. I have to make sure she doesn't get her chance this time. Let's let's see here. I walk to the desk, still catching my breath. If I'm right, it should still be here. I pull the drawer open. And sure enough, there it is. Shit. So that's why she had to come upstairs. Oh crap. The key's broken. I wanted to lock the drawer and hide the key, but I guess that's out of the question. I guess there's one thing I can do now. Throw the gun in the trash. <laughs> I I really don't want to take this with me. I wonder if, instead of taking the gun, I pick up the full magazine I had left there before and put it in my pocket. I shut the drawer for a few moments before kind of, I guess that, yeah, that's, that probably makes sense too, actually. Probably like, yeah. 
Let's just hope she takes it without checking for ammo. But that taken care of. Kinda. I made my way back downstairs. And on the way down, I crossed Luna making her way back up to the restroom. Go into the bathroom. Yeah. You interest that too? Yeah. The one downstairs is kind of dirty, that's why. Yeah. Well, see you downstairs. Yeah. See you. <laughs> She's like, the fuck? But, so wait, so she... Did she... Yeah, I'm a little confused. Did she know the gun was there for sure? Like, what? She, hmm. Okay, I don't know. Oh, or wait, did she put the gun in there earlier? No, because that wouldn't make sense. Because it was a stab wound that killed the guy. Okay, I don't know. Too many mysteries. Yeah, play dumb, you bastard. You're in for a treat this time. I'm waiting for them to do her business. I try to put together my action plan. I decided to go back to room one to see if there's something that might be of use. Ah, uh, yes. This will do the trick. Oh, wait. What? Why is the syringe not broken? It just negated the... That whole event happening with the, the no-face man. What the fuck? That's really weird. The anesthetic syringe. Heh. <laughs> she definitely won't see this one coming. So I'm even more confused now, actually, because... Somehow that... That whole thing was negated. Huh. Finally, I hear the door open. An anxious Luna walks into the basement. I let her walk past me before heading to the vault's door. A single question repeats itself over and over in my mind. Did she fall for it? Maybe. But when I reach the vault, more, more important, a more important question comes up. How am I supposed to know the other two passwords now? Wait. I shove my hand in my pocket and find my notepad there. You at least know the one password. And when I look at it, what the? Somehow password three and one are still written down, just like before. I think you've seen three. It's four. Password four. It seems everything I had on me is also intact. I sigh in relief and start pa typing the two passwords. I don't know if it's anxiousness, adrenaline, or the fact that I've done this before, but... It only takes a moment to type both passwords in. Alright. That's two down. Go ahead. It's your turn. I move to the side and wait for Luna to step forward and type her password. I managed to figure out how to turn my Bluetooth off this time. I'll move to keep an eye on her when you enter the vault. Coming, coming. Done. Good. The panel beeps and a familiar metallic sound, sound echoes in the room. The vault has been opened once again. Oh, oh god. While Luna struggles not to hurl from the stench, I grit my teeth and step into the vault. Even knowing what to expect. It's not anything less heart-wrenching than before. His body sprawled on the floor, twisted at an unnatural angle. The familiar touch of blood and decomposition assaults my nostrils one more time. Bile burns my throat as it climbs up to, into my mouth. I wipe my lips with my sleeve and avert my eyes from Lucian. 
I look around the room, searching. Searching. There. I walk towards the old white coat. I look inside the right pocket. Sure enough, there it is. It's still just as full as before. Hmm. It's just Mer Lucian's miraculous invention, Tabula Rasa. I stare at it for what seems to be an eternity. Hmm. Tabula Rasa. A clean slate. Like the name of the game. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> God damn it. How the hell can this be real? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's like right next to the mic when I did that. Shit. <sighs> A vial that allows one to travel back in time. So this is what Lucian meant with immortality. He couldn't make himself immune to aging or death. Instead, he planned on traveling to the past again and again, replacing his old memories with new ones forever. Hmm. Hell, what if Lucian that's here isn't even the original? What has he been doing this for who knows how long? And what if? What if this time something went wrong? Yeah. Yep, could be. This is insane. But it's real. How does it even work, though? I need more information. Hands up, asshole. I dropped the jacket on the floor and slowly raised my hands. I'm sorry, but I can't have you bringing a bunch of cops in here. You got stuff to do, so better stay where I can see ya! You hear me? Move it! Not this time, you little shit. In one swift movement, I turn around. And stab her with the syringe in the neck. Fuck! She goes out like a light. Seems like she won't be waking up for a while. Damn, this thing's strong. With that obstacle out of the way, I go back to what I'm here for. I pick up the lap, put off the floor, and take out the vial once again. Tabula rasa. I think I understand what Lucian meant now about setting my life straight again. Although, I have to wonder, was he actually going to let me use it? Or just fix things up himself? I mean, I'm more than happy if he managed to rewrite history for the better. But, can you truly say you're happy about giving something back? Oh, it's also like Steins Gate, I guess. Duh. Steins Gate. The, yeah, duh. I just thought of that. My my brain was like, Brr. I just I saw it. The uh, what's his face? <laughs> Otaba, Okataba, something like that. I don't remember his name. I don't remember their names in Stan's Gate. It's been a hundred million years. <laughs> oh shit! Can you truly say you're happy about getting something back? If you forget you lost it in the first place. I mean, you. Oh, I don't know. How does it work? Because that's weird. So what did he overwrite when he came back? Because he sounded confused about why he still had the passwords. But he went back to the same point where he already had one of the passwords in the first place. Why would he be confused about having that same password on him? So I don't understand, really. <laughs> why am I thinking about such things at a time like this? I know what I have to do. I have to go back to that day. Well, no shit, Sherlock, but... So then, let's see... When I used this, I only went back, like, half an hour. Maybe I need a stronger dose or something? I place the syringe back in the jacket and start searching the place. Wherever you look, there are countless machines and lab equipment I've never even dreamed of. Yet after just a short while, I find something that grabs my attention. Yes, this is probably it. I stumble upon a machine that shows promise. TB Mixer. Okay. 
I guess this is where the liquid I injected comes from. Oh, it has a concentration code gauge and everything. Let's just turn that up a notch. You said to yourself, you don't know science. What are you doing? <laughs> Duder, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn. It's not doing anything. Is it unplugged or something? I tried tinkering with, with a bit more, but nothing seems to work. Nothing seems... Nothing, 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 I turn around slightly, and that's what I notice. On the side, there's a keypad, just like the one on the door. And even it's the same four lights, all of them switched off. I guess this mixture is password protected. Doesn't surprise me. I just hope the same passwords work. I'll be damned if I have to go look for more. For more. With that, I start typing the same password I used to get in the vault. I type in the two I wrote on my notepad without a problem. As for the other one, let's see. I take my phone and start looking through it. Yep, there it is. I guess whatever I have on me when I travel comes with me. Works a little different than I think, but whatever. Yes, it worked. It seems three passwords are enough for this, too. Let's see here. Oh, so this was a time dial oh that's funny because that yeah I, I said Steins Gate yeah that's actually it is like Steins Gate then it's <laughs> said it's not a microwave okay <laughs> it looks like I can specify how far back I want to go it probably calculates the dose I need and prepares it automatically which never ceases to amaze me this this is just mind-blowing I look behind my shoulder. There, probably the smartest person in the world lies. Unmoving. Dead. Can't wait. Will. Will Lucian invent this again? If I go back? True. I try not to think too hard about it. It's probably better if I don't think about it at all. Now then. Mm, yeah, we'll stop here. That's fine. I think it's a fine place to stop, right? Cool. So I come through here and I... So, okay, death from the thingy. Yeah. And that's... Is it currently where I am, then? Puzzle, what puzzle? Okay, whatever. I don't know, I'm just looking at that. Um... Okay. Did I say... Yeah, I saved it, so I'm good. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play more of this. I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna wait till stream though again. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I think. Unless I, I mean, it depends on what I get. If I get more games to play, uh, more codes and stuff. I got, oh, I still got one I haven't done yet. And I have two. I have one that definitely has an embargo. It's not for like another. Oh, I don't even know. Next, next week, next week. God. Another one that's, the release is a long ways away, but I didn't get anything about embargoes, so I have no idea. I have no clue. I usually just like to play it safe and not do anything until release, if that happens, though. I don't know. Um, but this game, I'll play this game again. I'll do it even more. It's got it's got very interesting now. Stuff that's, I mean, some of the stuff is kind of like familiar to me, because I've played these types of games before, but, you know, it's still fun. It's still cool. So you can see it done different ways and stuff. Different types of puzzles as well. Alright. Guess I will see you next time.